Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here today and uh, to present for the first time during CPHI an overview on uh, Aptalis and how you can experience with Aptalis the power of three. Uh, so basically, Aptalis is a leading uh, specialty pharmaceutical company providing innovative and effective therapies for unmet medical needs, maybe in the areas of uh, GI and cystic fibrosis. Uh, the company was formed recently from the combination of uh, Urant and Axcan Pharma. We basically have uh, manufacturing and commercial operations in both uh, US, Canada, and Europe. Uh, the combined organization recorded revenues of $470 million in 2011, and as you can see, a compound annual growth rate of 12.8% between 2003 and 2011. Uh, we are a privately held company and uh, part of TPG, which is a strategic and financial partner for Aptalis. Uh, our business focus when we talk about the specialty pharma business, I mainly mentioned that we have uh, a focus on GI and cystic fibrosis. We have a broad portfolio of uh, products with leading positions in core markets and the best in class sales force. Uh, within the pharmaceutical technology business, Aptalis basically formulates and clinically uh, develop for itself and for others uh, enhanced pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical products uh, using our technology platforms, mainly the bioavailability enhancement, customized drug release, and taste masking ODT. Uh, we have integrated R&D and manufacturing facilities in both US and Europe. Basically, our established presence on the both sides of the Atlantic support our global reach uh, to partners. So our capabilities include basically global R&D, drug formulation, and commercial manufacturing. Uh, as you can see from this slide, basically we are two established companies with an extensive uh, history and our specialty pharma division continues to seek uh, acquisition and licensing opportunity for our portfolio of products and pipeline and uh, recently in 2000. 12, we have another success record stories. We have announced in uh, January the FDA approval of Rective, and afterward in March the FDA approval of Altreza and Viocase, adding, of course, uh, more strengths and breadth to our portfolio of products. Uh, looking at our portfolio of products in the GI field, I can mention first Zanpap, which is the first pancreatic enzyme product formulated and developed according to the latest regulatory requirement. Uh, this was FDA approved and launched in the US in November 2009. And then we recently announced FDA approval, as I mentioned, of Altreza and Viocase, also for exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Uh, then we have Pylera for the eradication of Helicobacter pylori, launching uh, very soon in a few European markets. And last but not least, Rective, which is the only FDA-approved drug for the treatment of moderate to severe pain associated with uh, chronic anal fissure. And we have started uh, recently the promotion of this product to the physicians in the U.S., um, now, the rest of the presentation will be focused on Aptalis Pharmaceutical Technologies, which is formerly URAND. So as you can see, the name has changed, but our commitment will continue because uh, the main message is that we will provide, continue to co-develop products for our partners, leveraging our capabilities in the oral drug delivery field. Uh, we have proven R&D capabilities, so basically as Aptalis, we simultaneously develop and commercialize uh, products in the areas of GI and cystic fibrosis, but also we have a very successful track record of co-development collaborations uh, with partners, where we provide them with customized drug formulation solutions, leveraging our proprietary technologies. Uh, so I can give the example of uh, the ODT formulation of Lamictal, marketed by GSK in the U.S., or the once-a-day formulation of Cyclobenzaprine, marketed by Teva Cephalon under the brand name Amrex. 
we are really proud of our business development expertise and our uh, most recent win is the co-development collaboration with Gilead in the US market. So in January also we announced the FDA approval for Gilead of Viriad, which is for the treatment of HIV infections in pediatric patient. In this case, we're providing the oral powder to Gilead using our microcaps technology for taste masking, while Gilead will be responsible for the product commercialization. Uh, looking at our business model, so we focus on co-development project where we develop new formulations leveraging our proprietary technologies. Uh, we can do everything from feasibility, formulation development basically to give to our partner the guarantee that this specific technology can work for a particular drug going through all the phases until we get to the full-scale manufacturing. Uh, while the second model mainly regards the out-licensing of products that are available within the pharmaceutical technologies division of Aptalis. And it's worth to mention that we have uh, an established process for both co-development collaborations and uh, licensing and the commercial supply agreement. And this process is replicated in both uh, US and Europe to ensure consistency for our partners. Uh, looking at our technology platforms, we have a very broad and well-diversified portfolio of uh, technologies enabling basically for product feature differentiation while meeting the needs of the patients. And we can do everything from product development to full-scale manufacturing. Um, going to the next slide, you see that there is a number of individual technologies within each platform aiming to address a wide uh, variety of formulation challenges. Okay, so within, let's say, the customized drug release, uh, we have the DFUCAPS and the MINITAPS technology, which are flexible multi-particulate technology enabling to achieve any type of release profile. It could be pulsatile release, chrono release, maybe if you want to achieve a rapid onset of action followed by a delayed release. Then we have the bioavailability enhancement, which is to improve the bioavailability of poorly soluble drugs or drugs with pH-dependent solubility profile, mainly class two compounds according to BCS classification, under which we have the BioRise uh, technology. And then the last the last platform, which is the taste masking, ODT. Uh, basically, we are leaders in taste masking by coacervation or face separation using our microcaps technology. And this usually goes hand in hand with our Advatap technology to create orally disintegrating tablets. Uh, all these technologies are commercially validated and they provide, of course, a certain level of patent protection. Now, in the next slide, I'm going to give some more details about each of the platforms and to give you maybe some concrete examples of products available on the market having one of these technologies. So under the customized drug release, Basically, we have a wide range of technologies enabling to achieve a wide variety of customized release profile. So if you have in mind maybe to create some fixed dose combinations, combining several APIs in one capsule or several bits with different release profile, this can be achieved through the DefoCaps technology. And one of the concrete examples is basically uh, Amrex which is a centrally uh, acting muscle relaxant uh, available on the US market through our partner Cephalon Teva. And uh, before the approval of Amrix in uh, 2007, mainly the immediate release uh, formulation of cyclobenzaprine, they often require two to three times administration per day. And in this case, the use of the DFUCAPS technology satisfies an unmet need by creating a once-a-day modified release uh, formulation enabling to increase patient compliance through less frequent dosing. Uh, moving to the bioavailability enhancement platform, uh, basically here with the advantage is that you can create new 
physical entities with better solubility profile. You can improve dose proportionality, achieve faster onset of action. So mainly we have under this platform the BioRise technology. And I can give you the example of nimazolide, uh, fast acting, marketed by uh, Novartis in Italy as nimazolide fast. And in this case, the purpose was to develop a product that is bioequivalent to the reference, but with a faster onset of action, being in this case two hours uh, instead of three. Uh, moving to the last platform, uh, the taste masking platform. So under this, as I mentioned, we have the microcaps technology, employing very precise and versatile coating technique that are done either in aqueous or solvent-based uh, coacervation. And we use it with our Advatap technology, which is an advanced uh, ODT technology, enabling to a quick disintegration in the mouse in less than 30 seconds without the need for water. And the combination of these two technologies, it guarantees highly effective taste masking and excellent organoleptic properties in terms of the taste, mouse feel, and aftertaste. And I can give the example of uh, Lamotrigine, orally disintegrating tablet that we developed for GSK uh, in the US using a combination of microcaps and Advatap. Uh, as you can see from this slide, basically our formulation expertise spans multiple therapeutic categories, including not only GI, but also cardiovascular, pain, nutrition, CNS, and others. If you look at our partnerships, we have very successful collaborations uh, around the globe with big multinational players, but also with key players in single markets like Samil in Korea, Daewong in Korea, or Adcock Ingram in South Africa. Um, here is basically a snapshot about uh, most of the pharmaceutical technologies products that are available through our partners on a worldwide basis. Uh, they all have the added value of being combined to one or more uh, Aptalis proprietary technologies. And uh, our track record includes mainly eight FDA product approved by the FDA over the last decade. And during the last five years, we had more than 40 uh, launches and uh, MA approvals around the globe. As I mentioned earlier, we have integrated R&D and manufacturing facilities in both US and Europe. High quality GMP facilities, we are approved to handle control substance and we have a wide expertise in hosting audits from various international regulatory agencies around the world, like the FDA, European medical agencies and others. Uh, when we talk about patent protection, uh, the main message here is that we strive to offer to our partners the highest level possible of patent protection. And our patent portfolio is basically composed of patents with broad claims that are directed to our technologies or more uh, specific claims the directed to a particular drug or class of drug in combination uh, to our technologies. And I wanted also to share with you uh, the, the, what we did in our press release in April that we have basically prevailed in our appeal to the US Court of Appeals, which basically upheld uh, the validity of the two patents covering Amrex. And this is, of course, a further demonstration about the uniqueness of Aptalis formulation approach and the strengths of our technologies. Now, we can say that uh, basically Aptalis opens to its partner the pathway to market access because we offer more than just technologies. We offer proprietary technologies, formulation expertise, patent protection to partners, guidance on regulatory pass and approval. So basically providing all the building blocks towards a successful commercialization of the product and the potential for market exclusivity for our partners. Uh, here's a list of the major uh, partnering opportunities, so products available uh, for licensing. So you can see we have the Undancetron extended release using our Defocaps acid bead technology. For this product, we have uh, completed two pivotal PK study versus the reference. Uh, which is Zofran, and we are looking for a development partner on a worldwide basis. On the ODT side, 
we have lamotrigine, diphenhydramine, and paracetamol, ODT. So lamotrigine, it's available on an XUS basis. It's for the treatment of pediatric epilepsy and bipolar disorder. Diphenhydramine, also available, XUS and Canada. It's also a combination of Advatab and microcaps for highly effective taste masking, and it's marketed by Sanofi in the US under the brand name Unisum. Paracetamol, it's available, I mean, for out licensing on a worldwide basis with some exclusions in EU. Cyclobenzaprine, extended release, as I mentioned, this is available in the US by Cephalonteva and in Korea by Daiwong. And we're extensively also looking to out license this product in Middle East, uh, Russia CIS, and Asia Pacific. So if you want to experience the power of three, the power of our three technology platforms, the customized drug release, bioavailability enhancement, or taste masking ODT, you are welcome to visit our booth located in uh, Hall 4 and also to get the chance to win an iPad or a Kindle. Thank you very much.